and love it. <laughs> I think that was also okay, not the first time because I wanted to say the first time that I went flat through Fox Foxhole this year, but we did it also flat with the 83 horsepower Honda Jazz last week. <laughs> Doesn't count. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nurburgring. And this is a car that we'll be driving in a separate video, but today. Yeah, this is not... I, I was also looking forward to drive this for six months, but today's main hero of our video will be this Golf 7 Club Sport that we built at Apex over winter. And why am I so excited to drive it? Well, because last winter we bought the car and then we started building it over winter and I was like, Ooh, I want to test all these upgrades. So what are the upgrades on it? So first of all, the car is stock when it comes to power delivery. So I guess the 7 Golf is 230 horsepower and not 245, unless... George, is it stock power? 230, okay. Are we gonna map it? No, so it's not going to be remapped. 230 horsepower, everything is about the handling. And what do we have in terms of handling? Pro check wheels with a start conversion to make sure that the wheels will or the bolts will not snap off and uh, well the wheels will fall off because that's something that we had in the past. Check out by the way the video in the video description that I will probably forget to include where we talked really in detail about the car over winter about all the mods etc. Uh, upgraded brakes, you can see blue brake pads, this means endless brake pads. I think probably MA45Bs. Then Nankang NS2R tires, great grip, for especially for this power, more than enough. Uh, and also sufficient grip in the wet. When it comes to the interior, there are also a couple of other mods. Then we can see it here, probably in the rear. Ah, a helmet box, very convenient. Um, Stem Performance carpet. Then, JRZ RS Pro 3-way adjustable suspension. So compression, rebound, uh, I think high speed and low speed compression and rebound. But I might be wrong. I'm not that much into suspensions. I just know that it's uh, going very fast and very good. Uh, and that's, I think, kind of it. Well, I forgot to mention also the interior on this side. Uh, also the Stahlus cage to which the suspension is of course mounted as well as the Schrott harnesses and Ricardo pole position seats. Pretty much the stock normal average um, components products that we are using at Apex. Okay, uh, it is the very first dry day that we are driving actually because the car has not been driven in the wet by anyone this year because this year it's been quite depressive when it comes to uh to weather yeah anyway enough talking let's hop in and do a lap and see how the car performs Woo! first always the bottom ones and then you tighten the upper ones and be ready to untighten them when you need to scan the ticket on the barrier scanner it is going to be the very first dry <laughs> lap of the year with a front wheel driven car. Because of course the very first one was with the Fiesta ST with uh, lots of horsepower, 315 I believe, in the wet. It was still quite nice. Uh, but uh, this and dry on a good set of semi slicks should be fun. And as I mentioned, I've been looking forward to drive this car since we got it, end of the year. Like we picked it up, I think in October or so last year. Not even sure if we managed to do like stock laps before we started building it. I think, I don't, I don't even remember. Maybe, maybe George did a sneaky lap. But then over the winter, of course, the car was being built to what it is. And remembering last year's lap with the black golf that we still have, but not as built as crazy or up to spec as this one, because the biggest changes are here, of course, not only does this have a cage or half cage in the rear, but the seats are going to do lots of difference. And the other car, I don't think it was on the same mistakes, of course, in the high performance tires, but I think it's on Mission PS4S. We'll be back end of the week from the body shop because on the first day already someone managed to park it in the wall. Let's hope it will not be the ones with this car or everyone at Apex is going to kill me. 
and all the people who have booked this car of course as well but there's Adrian with b-rolls hello <laughs> uh, yeah really really looking forward to that Ooh, it's quite busy today of course the first <laughs> Marshall's happy it's the first day that it's sunny honestly yesterday the track was closed because of the fog today luckily the it's been shining the whole day the sun was shining the whole day although it is right now can i see it on the info screen ah we'll, we'll check it later because earlier we're showing it was only four degrees but hey as long as it's dry so we need to be aware to get the temperature in tires eh. good reminder not to drive crazy because i want to come back home to these lovely girls of mine Whew. First time, first time. George told me to watch out because the back end is a bit twitchy. The suspensions need to be tweaked. I think the right height that's on the list now after the feedback of the recent customer. So let's have a look. Off we go. Oh yeah. Uh, where's the traction button? There we go. myself how to drive with saving slicks <laughs> can I pass please thank you he's indicating so we can go through on the outside we have extra curbstone here after this year's reconstructions very convenient it's a bit it's a bit busy lots of traffic lots of traffic so it's not going to be like any exciting uh, super fast uh, Lap. We're not allowed to lap time anyway, and it's irrelevant with traffic with all the different conditions. <laughs> Love it. It's also one of the first laps where I'm like, really, there are lots of dirt here, probably still from the race. It's one of the first laps that I'm actually feeling really comfortable after getting used to back on the track. But that's what I said the first month in March, I would be taking it easy, and then in April, we can go a bit faster again. Yeah, you let us through. Thank you very much, dear Golf. I'm not sure if it was an R or also GTI. Judging by the tailpipes, only two of them could be GTI, but judging by the color, color, it could be a Golf R. But as you can see, having a nice conversation with you guys, but still driving quite spirited. Yeah, we're good to go. All is clean. It's the first time that I could take the fluke plots at decent speed this year because every time before it was either wet or damp or you might never know what's happening there. Although there was lots of dirt from uh, last weekend's NLS race. I was cautious when going through high speed sections and approaching other cars, always leaving space or mistakes for yourself and others. I should have put pedal cam because I really did not put any brakes on, like no brake pressure whatsoever. Because these brakes can handle a lot more than I'm throwing at them right now. But also at the same time, at this point tires should be warm-ish. But still. Flat. Convenient. Complete. <laughs> love it <laughs> I think that was also okay not the first time because I wanted to say the first time that I went flat through Fox, Foxhole this year but we did it also flat with the 83 horsepower Honda Jazz last week <laughs> that doesn't count <laughs> four times less horsepower but no three times less do your math do your math but doing math and driving at the same time can be sometimes uh, challenging and if you don't need to do it why should you do it nice no overall really happy with the car like of course you could set it up more oversteery if you'll be a pro driver but then again everyone needs to be able to drive this car and it's yeah there's the twitchy back so everyone needs to be able to drive it but we were doing trail braking and that's when the back end steps out so if you don't do trail braking you can have a nice conversation with your friends 
and have lots of fun in this car. Okay, well now we can test the brakes in PS iPhone. They're good. <laughs> They're really, really good. Ah. <laughs> Watching out for traffic. Do, 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 do. It's so good to see the track alive, to see like, you know, finally the sun shining, let alone driving with sunshine, which is like, it got me so depressed over the last few days, because the fact, well, human beings need to have sunlight, otherwise it just becomes very, very depressive. Has you seen this? Ah, uh, yeah, 420, probably with remap 50 horsepower, M2 is going away on the straight. We have a yellow light, just a public service announcement that the yellow light means there's going to be a yellow flag ahead or a dangerous situation. During the yellow flight, the maximum speed is 100 km per hour. During the yellow flag, it's 50 km per hour. Now, I know where the accident is. It is going to be quite far away from here. Uh, it's uh, after Mood Curve. So, probably a fast forward till we pass the accident because it's like two kilometers from here and we can go again. And off we go again. Watch out, M2. Don't lose your back end. something that didn't come up in the last few days that shows again how much difference there is versus driving in the wet fast and dry good gearing through prevention Friday, looking forward to seeing you all there. 
it's going to be amazing right now the weather prediction for friday is kind of like up and down but at least the weekend seems to be going very nice so looking forward to seeing you there and otherwise tomorrow on my channel with more nevergreen stuffs yeah